Hi, I'm Daryl Crow, and I got something special. I got a little surprise this morning, and I'm going to take you to our YouTube page so you can see that little surprise. Do you see that big number there? That says we now have, since October a year ago, over one million visitors to our channel. People who are watching the free lessons and tips and everything that we put up. We were so excited today that we started dancing. Because you know something? That's very special to us that it, there are that many people out there who would like to watch what we're doing. And we're so excited. And we're sitting there saying, we got to have a celebration. So we did the best thing we know how, and we pulled out the camera and uh, decided to let you all join in on us. We're going to celebrate it all weekend long. Now, a lot of you are saying, you know, I like your lessons. I like what you've been doing. Keep them coming. And we're going to. We really are. We've got a lot of lessons that we're still going to be adding up. And right behind that are the lessons that we have on our own club. You know, the Daryl Crow Studios has been offering all of its films. We have over 250 different two-hour films on DVD for over 10 years now. But about a year ago, we started a club, and that what prompted us to share some of the information on our You Can Paint, uh, from our You Can Paint Club over to the YouTube channel. Now, you know something? For this weekend, as a respondent, it's not going to apply to the DVD, but it will apply to the club. We normally charge $297 as a lifetime, one-time fee. Now, let me tell you what that means. For this one-time fee, it means that you'll be able to access every single video that we've produced over the past 10 years. We didn't do them before then, so that's everything we've ever done. All 250 films, plus everything we'll ever do in the future. Absolutely, if the future goes another 100 years for me, you'll have access to it. Isn't that amazing? We did a little quick tally before we came on here, and that's like getting $3,698.82 for only 297 but you know something? I'm gonna cut that in half just to say thank you for your visiting with us on the video. That's $147 this weekend only. If you're a YouTube viewer, you just go ahead, visit us at www.darylcrow.com and you'll find everything there explained for you. I'm gonna take just a couple minutes right now because I think it's really important that before you go visit us, you see exactly what we've got there. I'm really excited about this, but most of all, I just want to say thank you for having visited with us, and I hope it's not the last time you come by and see us here at the YouTube channel. This is our entire basic technique library of over 250 videos. Many, if not most of them, are nearly two hours long of concise step-by-step -step instruction that allow anyone, even if they've never held a paintbrush before, to learn how to paint. Now we started off by going through the basic fundamentals of landscapes and then moving on to seascapes, flowers, tall ships, pop art, people, wildlife, color mixing, painting from photographs, teaching children to paint, along with over a hundred different painting projects that you can also paint. Let's start off by reviewing what's on each particular set. First, there's the basic techniques of oil painting. This is a collection of nine two-hour DVDs. Each DVD covers a specific topic. There's one on preparation. What do you need to set up your own workstation? What kind of supplies should you be using? What kinds of paints? What kinds of brushes? And how do you start painting? It's a very critical, critical DVD. 
Then we go into how to paint skies and cloud and how to paint mountains and how to paint water, all kinds of water, creeks, waterfalls, frozen lakes, seascapes. Then we move into trees, all kinds of trees, bushes and grass, rocks and boulder, and cabins and buildings. And we give you three different bonus projects you can paint that encompass everything that's taught on this. Here's just a few examples of the work that we have. Now we took the very same nine DVDs of the basic techniques of oil painting, but this time we showed you how to do them in acrylics. We have so many students that told us, you know, we love your basic techniques of oil painting, but I really don't paint with oil. I prefer to paint with acrylics. So we went over the same subject matters. We showed you how to set up your workstation. We showed you what paint brushes we use. We told you what kinds of paints we use, how to approach the difference between brush, brushes that you use with oils and the brushes you use with acrylics and the approach we took because, you know, acrylics really is different. They say the greatest difference between acrylics and oil is that oils dry slower and acrylics dry faster. But irrespective of which particular medium that you'd like to use, we're giving you step by step by step instructions on how you can paint with both of them, as well as water mixable oils. And here are just a few examples of what this video series will do for you. Aside from painting landscapes and seascapes, the most popular subject that I've found that students want to learn how to do is flowers. And so what we did is we put together a series of 13 DVDs. Most are two hours long. Actually, I gotta be honest, some are a little longer. But we start out again with preparation. What do you need? What's so unique about setting up for flowers? We talk about the brushes because they're far different. We talk about the paint. We talk about the use of medium and how to prepare. We go through and show you how to do the basic leaves, the basic flowers, and then the background and vases, and then all the other things you'll find with flowers like sticks, twigs, and all those little wiggly things that crawl over the plant and fly through the air. But that isn't where we stopped. We went on to show you how to do daisies, hydrangeas, tulips, calla lilies, iris, magnolias, poppies, roses, roses, and more roses. Everybody loves to do a rose. And I think someone once said, if I was to do a rose every day of my life, I still would not have conquered the rose. Take a look at some of the projects that you can conquer. Learning the basics of techniques of painting, you inevitably decide to specialize, for a while at least. And there was a period of time that I went through intense seascape paintings. And I found out that my students were begging me to show them more and more and more details on seascapes. So we put together a collection of over a dozen videos on how you can paint seascapes. We start out by showing you the basic wave and the basic wave in the middle of the ocean or as it comes crashing down onto the beach. And from there we talk about lighthouses, the basic lighthouses. How do we build those? How do we paint those? And then sh uh, shores, coastlines, and harbors. We show you that. And then we actually go into some rather unique examples. We have one there that's called Stormy. It's a pure black and white study so you can start to understand the contrast in ocean scene. We move on to Morning at the Beach. We move on to Golden Morning. And we move on to Tropical Night. And we have Jamaica Run. We have 10 different videos there that show you different projects. And if that's not enough, in our normal Paint with Daryl projects, we have even more videos for you. The Tall Ship series is one of my favorite series. It's one that I've dreamed about. I show you how to do the tall sails, all of the rigging, 
all of the different shapes. We show you how to put them together and then we give you examples. My all-time favorite is a clipper and we have three four-hour lessons on the clipper. One showing the clipper heading towards you, a side view, and the clipper heading away. We follow this along with the workhorse of the EC, the two-mast brig, and then the superliner, the five-mast bark. And of course, no series is complete without a pirate ship. And here we have Pirates Ahoy, in which we take Blackbeard's ship and we put them to paint here. Now this series of wildlife painting and how to paint wildlife, I think was inspired back when I was seven years old reading Edgar Rice Burroughs. We cover chimpanzees, how to paint them, lions, the American eagle, tigers, elephants, panda bears, kangaroos. I'm telling you, just about any kind of animal you'd like to paint, the techniques for how to paint them are included. And for those of you who love to be in touch with nature, there's even El Lobo the Wolf. So come along. Bring your Edgar Rice Burroughs books, grab a banana, let's paint wildlife. If there's anything that is difficult for students, it's learning how to mix colors. So we put together a series that gives you one approach to learning how to mix colors and to consistently come up with the color you need. We first study about where does the colors we use on our palette come from and how you can make appropriate decisions. Then we talk about the art of mixing, getting familiar with your colors, how you can use something as simple as a color chart or an empty paint stick to deepen your knowledge of colors. Then we talk about design. In fact, we spend four hours talking about how you can design paintings with a very unique color scheme. We give you two different uh, uh, approaches in that and we also talk about color theory simplified. We use no 50 cent words here. We're just all down to earth trying to learn how to paint and mix the colors we want. And we show you a couple of examples from our design. Well, I think you're going to find this so good that you can even sit down with your children or grandchildren and help them take some food color mixes and paint along with you but with icing. Not long after you start painting lessons, you're suddenly going to say, I'd like to paint this or that, or I went on vacation, or I went on a business trip, and I have a great photo, I'd like to put it to canvas. So we developed this entire series of eight different DVDs to show you how you can do that. And we take different approaches. But you know something, besides just talking about how to compose, which I do in the first DVD, and the types of photos I take. Then we show you how you can transfer the photo directly to canvas. We show you several different techniques for doing that. We also talk about how you can take a specific element from a photograph and develop it into a full painting. We also talk about how to use models. We talk about and show you how you can paint flowers from a photograph, wildlife from photograph, or just simply use photographs for a lot of details in your painting. It's an exhaustive, collective treatment of how you can learn to paint from photographs. There's hardly a student that doesn't think, gee, I'd like to share what I've learned with my child, my grandchild, or other children I know. And there are some basic things that are different about teaching children than there are in teaching adults. So we put together a little short series on how to do that. The first DVD is Kids Essential. How do kids learn? What is it they're looking for? What keeps them interested? What keeps them motivated? And what would they like to paint? Now, ever since I've done that series, there's a couple of more things that kids have personally told me I've left out. One of them is they want to be able to paint princes and dragons and these little cars that are called transformers that pop out into people. So they want to learn how to paint that. So we'll get along with that. But for right now, we've shown you how to do some simple projects. And it's not just oil paints and it's not just acrylic. We show you how to do those same projects in both styles of medium. So it doesn't matter what you like to paint through this series. 
you'll learn how to teach your child or your grandchild or your uh, youngster how they can paint in either oils or acrylics. It's your choice. There are four different, five different projects and two hours of how to conduct the class. There's a couple of things I've been often uh, asked to do. One is called pop art. That's like the Andy Warhol ability to paint where we use a, a, a single color background and uh, a different color to paint the portrait. So we put together a special DVD called Pop Art, which covers that, and that's included in our library as well. So take a look at it. These are some of the projects you'll be able to do, and I'll leave you with one last thought on this. It only takes an hour to learn how to do this, and you can become as proficient as the most master instructor within that hour. I find that as students progress through learning how to paint and acquiring more and more skills, they like to add people, not only animals, but people as well, into their painting. So we put together a most unusual approach in teaching beginning students how to put people. We start off because most people tell us right out they can't even draw a stick man. Well, we're going to correct that. We go into how to draw a stick man. And then from there, we go into carrot people. And we get you going and, and painting people really well with carrot approaches. And then from there, we go how you can become more lifelike and start to use models. It's a great little two hour film. There's even a couple of examples where I have my son and grandson sitting out and standing out in the backyard. There's another one where I use the granddaughter as a model. I think you're gonna find this great. We have over, and I wanna stress that because we keep adding all the time, but we have over 100 different video projects. Each of these projects run well over an hour, most approach two hours, if not more. They are detailed, they are step-by-step, -step. they take you on how to do a specific painting right from the bare canvas to the last brush stroke. You get to watch Daryl as he paints that entire painting. He always suggests that first what you do is you watch the film and then paint watch, paint, watch, paint. So you see each step and then you go do it. You see each step and then you go do it. And the reason you can do that easily is you've already gone ahead and watched the entire film so you know where you're headed. There's a lady that called us up the other day. Her name is Joan Craig from Canada. And she says, you know something, Daryl? I was skeptical. I really, really was. I have not been able to ever learn to do much of anything from videos. So when I heard that you were going to teach by video, I was not necessarily motivated. I've tried others, other artists who were instructors that put their works on video, and I just couldn't follow it. But I want you to know, I got your, photo, uh, your video two days ago, and today, I'm looking at a beautiful, beautiful waterfall that I did myself. You took me step by step. I have never seen such step by step instructions before. And I want you to know that I am so happy I ran across your website. And I'm so happy that I had a want to that was a bigger than my belief. Because I wanted to learn and now I know I can learn and I believe in what you're doing. So thank you. Well, Joan, thank you for your very kind words and thank you for allowing me to share it with others. Because I think what you've captured in essence is what we're trying to do with all these different 100 plus projects which covers landscapes, they cover seascapes, they cover flowers, they cover tall ships, they cover holiday paintings, and they cover portraits and pets and wildlife and tall ships. It's just exciting to see the results and I invite everyone to go ahead, paint these projects, and then share your results with us. We love it, we love you. Take a look at some of the projects that you could be painting now.
We did a little quick tally before we came on here and that's like getting $3,698.82 for only $297. But you know something? I'm going to cut that in half just to say thank you for your visiting with us on the video. That's $147 this weekend only if you're a YouTube viewer. You just go ahead, visit us at www.darylcrow.com and you'll find everything there explained for you.